Welcome to NSG 323 Study Session 11 Multiple Pregnancy Introduction Multiple pregnancy occurs when more than one fetus is developing in utero in a single pregnancy. Different names for multiple births are used depending on the number of offspring. Common multiples are 2 and 3 known as twins and triplets respectively. Multiple birth siblings are either monozygotic or polyzygotic. The former result from a single fertilized egg or zygote splitting into two or more embryos, each carrying the same genetic material. Genes, siblings created from one egg are commonly called identical. Since identical multiples share the same genetic material, they are always of the same sex. Polyzygotic or fraternal multiples instead result from multiple ova being ripened and released in the same menstrual cycle by a woman's ovaries, which are then fertilized to grow into multiples no more genetically alike than ordinary four siblings sharing 50% of their genetic material. Multiples called dizygotic represent multiples from two hex specifically. For example, a set of triplets may be composed of identical twins from one egg and a third non-identical sibling from a second egg. The most common form of multiple birth for humans is twins. In the United States, it has been estimated that by 2011, 36% of twin births and 77% of triplets and higher other births resulted from conception by assisted reproductive technology. Monozygotic, multiple, typically two fetuses produced by the splitting of a single zygote. Dizygotic, multiple, typically two fetuses produced by two zygotes. Polyzygotic, multiple fetuses produced by two or more zygotes. Learning outcomes. After the study, you should be able to explain the terms used for the order of multiples, highlight premature birth and low birth weight, discuss antepartum hemorrhage, mention the initial appraisal of a woman with APH. Terms used for the order of multiple birth. The following are the terms used for multiple birth days. 1. 2 offspring, twins. 2. 3 offspring, triplets. 3. 4 offsprings, quadruplets. 4. 5 offspring, quintuplets. 5. 6 offspring, Sex to plates. Six. Seven offspring. Septuplets. Seven. Eight offsprings. Octuplets. Eight. Nine offspring. Non nuplets. Nine. Ten offspring. Decaplets. Ten. Eleven offspring. Undecaplets. Eleven. Twelve offspring. Dodecaplets. Identical triplets occur. When a single fertilized egg splits in two, and then one of the resulting two eggs splits again. High orders of multiple births, three or more offspring in one birth, may result in a combination of fraternal, genetically different, and identical, genetically identical siblings. Triplets. The latter are also called super twins. For example, a set of triplets may consist of two identical siblings and one fraternal sibling. This happens when two eggs are fertilized and one of these subsequently divides into two fetuses. By analogy with monozygotic and dizygotic twins, such a combination is called dizygotic triplets. Identical triplets are quadruplets are very rare and result when the original fertilized egg splits and then 
one of the resultant cell splits again for triplets or even more rarely a further split occurs for core triplets. Non-identical twins. Non-identical twins is the most common kind of multiple birth among humans, occur in about one out of every 80 pregnancies. Families expecting a multiple birth have different health needs requiring extra practical support and understanding throughout pregnancy, the postnatal period and early years. Information from a well-informed health caregiver from when the pregnancy is diagnosed multiple until delivery will help the expectant couple prepare and avoid potential problems. For reasons that are not yet known, the older a woman is, the more likely she is to have a multiple birth naturally. It is theorized that this is due to the higher level of follicle stimulating hormone that older women sometimes have as their ovaries respond more slowly to FSH stimulation. Factors influencing multiple pregnancy. Certain factors appear to increase the likelihood that a woman will naturally conceive multiples. These include the following. Mother's age. Women over 35 are more likely to have multiples than younger women. Mother's use of fertility drugs. Approximately 35% of pregnancies arising through the use of fertility treatment such as drugs and IV health involve more than one child history of multiple pregnancies in the family, the woman. Risks of multiple pregnancy. Exacerbation of common disorders. The presence of more than one fetus in utero and the high level of circulating hormone often exacerbate the disorders of pregnancy. Anemia. Iron deficiency and folic acid deficiency anemia are common due to greater demand on the maternal store. Polyhydraminous. This is common and in particular in monochorionic twins. And with fetal abnormalities, this may have to end discomfort the woman is already experiencing. If acute, it can lead to miscarriage. Pressure symptoms. Due to increased weight and size of the uterus and its content, pressure symptoms may be troublesome. Impaired venous return from lower limbs increases tendency to varicose veins and increase oedema of the legs. Backache is common, marked dyspnea and indigestions. Babies born from multiple birth pregnancies are much more likely to result in premature birth than those from single pregnancies. 51% of twins and 91% of triplets are born preterm compared to 9.4% in single twins, 14% of twins and 41% of triplets are even born very preterm compared to 1.7% in single twins. The preterm birth also results in multiples tending to have a lower birth weight compared to single twins. Premature birth and low birth weight. Cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is more common among multiple births than single birth. This is likely a side effect of premature birth and low birth weight. Risks of multiple pregnancy. Incomplete separation. Multiples may become monochorionic, sharing the same chorion with resultant risk of twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome. Monochorionic multiples may even become monoamniotic, sharing the same amniotic sac, resulting in risk of umbilical cord compression and entanglement. In very rare cases, there may be conjoined twins, possibly impairing function of internal organs. Mortality rate, stillbirth. Multiples are also known to have a higher mortality rate. It is more common for multiple births 
to be stillborn, while for singletons, the risk is not as high. Diagnosis of twin pregnancy Through ultrasound as early as six weeks, family history of twins, there is the vanishing twin syndrome, fetus papyracoes. Occasionally, one of the twins may die in the second trimester and becomes a fetus papyracoes becomes embedded in the placenta and expelled with the placenta at delivery. Abnormal examination inspection. Size of uterus may be larger than gestational age, especially at 20 weeks. Uterus looks round, fetal parts seen over a wide area. Fresh sterile, gravidarum and polyhydraminos are not an uncommon complication. Palpation. Fonda height greater than expected for pregnancy age. Presence of two fetal poles in the fundus of uterus. Palpable multiple fetal parts. Fetal head may be small in relation to size of uterus. Natural palpation may reveal two fetal backs or limbs on both sides. Pelvic palpation may give findings similar to fundal palpation. Auscultation. Hearing two fetal heartbeats is not diagnostic as one can often be heard over a wide area. The pregnancy. A multiple pregnancy tends to be shorter in duration than a single pregnancy. Multiple pregnancies in humans are usually born prior to 38 weeks of gestation. The average length of pregnancy, 36 weeks is average for twin birth, 33 weeks for triplets, and 30 weeks for quadruplets. Antenatal preparation. Early diagnosis of a twin pregnancy and chorionicity is important in order to give the expectant parent expert advice and support. Parent education. When a multiple pregnancy is diagnosed, written information on multiple pregnancies should be given to the mother. The midwife should give them opportunity to discuss their worries, fears, and the problems they may have. Routine parent education classes should start earlier for twin mothers. Preparation for breastfeeding is important as mothers we inevitably give a lot of thought to how they are going to feed their babies, not only from the nutritional but also from practical point of view. Labor and birth. Labor and the birth. The more fetuses the mother is carrying, the earlier labor is likely to start. Term for twins is usually considered to be 37 weeks rather than 40 and approximately 50% of twins are born preterm. The babies may be small for gestational age and so are prone to the associated complications of both conditions. If spontaneous labor begins earlier, the chances of survival outside the uterus is small. The mother will usually be given drugs to inhibit uterine activity. Intravenous Salbutamol and Solindac tablets are the drugs of choice. Any known cause of preterm labor should be diagnosed early and treated with antibiotics, e.g. urinary tract infection. It is very unusual for a twin pregnancy to last more than 40 weeks. Many obstetricians advise induction of labor at 38 weeks. If the first twin is cephalic presentation, labor is allowed to progress normally to a vaginal birth. But if the first twin is presented in any other way, an elective cesarean section is usually recommended. Anemia, iron deficiency, and folic acid deficiency anemia are common due to greater demand on the maternal store. Polyhydraminous. This is common and in particular in monochorionic twins and with fetal abnormalities. 
this may add to any discomfort the woman is already experiencing. If hacked, it can lead to miscarriage, pressure symptoms. Due to increased weight and size of the uterus and its content, pressure symptoms may be troublesome. Impaired venous return from lower limbs increases tendency to varicose veins and increased oedema of the legs. Backache is common. Marked dyspony and indigestion. Antipartum hemorrhage. In obstetrics, antipartum hemorrhage, APH, also prepartum hemorrhage, is bleeding from birth canal during pregnancy from the 24th week, sometimes defined as from the 20th week gestational age to 10. This may place the life of the mother and fetus at risk. It can be associated with reduced fetal birth weight. Effect on the fetus. 1. Increased fetal mortality and morbidity. 2. Stillbirth or neonatal death. 3. Premature placental separation and consequent hypoxia may result in severe neurological damage in the baby. Effect on mother. If bleeding is severe, it may be accompanied by shock and disseminated intravascular coagulation. The mother may die or be left with permanent heal health. Treatment. It should be considered a medical emergency. Regardless of whether there is pain and medical attention should be sought immediately as if it is left untreated, it can lead to death of the mother and or fetus. Causes of APH Obstetric 1. Placenta 2. Maternal blood 3. Bloody show benign Most common cause of APH 4. Placenta abruption, most common pathological cause. 5. Placenta prevail, second most common pathological cause. 6. Fetal blood can be distinguished with APT test. 7. Vasa previa, often difficult to diagnose, frequently leads to fetal demise. Uterus of the human body, uterine rupture, non obstetric. Bleeding from the lower genital tract, cervical bleeding, cervicitis, cervical neoplasm, cervical polyp, bleeding from the vagina itself, trauma, neoplasm, bleeding that may be confused with vagina bleeding, G high bleed, hemorrhoids, inflammatory bowel disease, urinary tract bleed, urinary infection, varicose veins. Initial appraisal of a woman with APH. When a pregnant woman notices bleeding from the vagina, she may call the midwife or present herself in the hospital. She may fear she is losing a baby. The husband may be afraid he is losing both mother and child. The role of the midwife is to be supportive and ascertain as much as possible the history and the circumstances surrounding the blood loss. This will assist both in assessing the woman's condition and making a diagnosis. The midwife should, however, be aware that APH is unpredictable and the woman's condition can deteriorate rapidly at any time. She must therefore make an urgent decision on the need to get medical and paramedical attention. This is necessary as sometimes the bleeding which the woman presumed is from the uterus may be bleeding hemorrhoids. Assessment of physical maternal condition. Assess for pallor or breathlessness which may indicate shock. Assess emotional state of the woman and her partner and calm them down by gaining their trust. Assess the amount of blood loss in order to ensure adequate fluid replacement. Carry out a gentle abdominal examination while observing for signs of labor. Do not carry out vaginal examination as this may aggravate the bleeding. 
fetal condition. The mother should be asked if the baby had been moving as much as normal. The midwife must attempt to auscultate the fetal heart. Ultrasound apparatus may be used to obtain information. Factors to aid differential diagnosis. Management. Always admit the patient to hospital for assessment and management. Phone 999 if there are any major concerns regarding maternal or fetal well-being. The mainstays of management are resuscitation and accurate diagnosis of the underlying cause, severe bleeding or fetal distress, urgent delivery of the baby, irrespective of gestational age. Admit to hospital, even if bleeding is only a very small amount, there may be a large amount of concealed bleeding with only a small amount of revealed vaginal bleeding. No vaginal examination should be attempted, at least until a placenta previa is excluded by ultrasound. It may initiate torrential bleeding from a placenta previa. Resuscitation can be inadequate because of underestimation of blood loss and misleading maternal response. A young woman may maintain a normal blood pressure until sudden and catastrophic decomposition occurs. Take blood for FBC and clotting studies. Cross match has heavy loss may require transfusion. Gentle palpation of the abdomen to determine the gestational age of the fetus, presentation and position. Fetal monitoring. Arrange urgent ultrasound. With every episode of bleeding, a restless negative woman should have a clairhoya test and be given prophylactic anti-D immunoglobulin. Summary. In study session 11, you have learned that multiple births are process of giving birth to more than one baby at time, which include two offspring, twins, three offspring, triplets, four offspring, quadruplets. Factors influencing multiple pregnancy are mother's age, mother's use of fertility drugs, risk of multiple pregnancy are anemia, polyhydraminous, pressure symptoms. Premature birth and low birth weight are babies born before their normal time, such as cerebral palsy, incomplete separation, mortality rate, stillbirth. Antipartum hemorrhage is bleeding from birth canal during pregnancy from the 24th week gestational age to term. Initial appraisal of a woman with APH. When a pregnant woman notices bleeding from the vagina, she may call the midwife or present herself in the hospital. End of study session 11. Thanks for listening.